I've come down here and surprised Jakey Landers because with Father's Day approaching, I thought I'd ask him uh, whatever, what kind of memories he'd like to share with us about his father. What was your father's name? Uh, his name was Roger Q. Landers. The Q stood for nothing other than Q. And uh, <laughs> he would always really? get asked that question, what does it stand for? Well, so I was junior, uh, and the story goes that they didn't want to call me junior, uh, so they gave me a nickname, Little Jake, after our good friend Jake Appleman. Oh, yes. And uh, then it was, was Jakey until, uh, I guess I got to college and shortened it to Jake. But uh, they, I think they, my dad and mother grew me up pretty well. Well, I do too. I remember your parents. And he usually had a cigar in his mouth, didn't he? Always. Yeah. Yeah, I got some, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Nicodine jeans? Yeah. <laughs> uh, when I was in fourth grade, he took me to San Angelo once a week for a while to get my braces tightened. On what? And, your teeth uh, or your, <laughs> were they on your teeth? Yeah, my okay. teeth needed some braces. Okay. And we'd get in the, get in the, uh, car and he would light up a cigarette, uh, light up a cigar. <laughs> and it would last until it got down to a stub. But I got a lot of secondhand smoke that way, I'm afraid. I'm afraid my children did too. <laughs> Didn't seem to stunt their growth, but uh, today it would bother me to smell a cigar, but it, I used to love to smell a cigar when I was used to it. Yeah, it's really they smell weird. good before they're lit. Yes. <laughs> so, you, your father and your mother had, tell us about your siblings, your, their children. My, do, my, my sister was first. She came in 1930. Yeah. And uh, my parents had married in 1925. Oh. And they were quite anxious to have children. Yeah. Uh, then, then I came along two years later in 1932. Uh, my uh, first brother, Fritz, in 1935, and then uh, John Brooks in 1941. Oh, okay. I kind of helped raise John Brooks. Uh, he was eight years younger than I. And, yeah. And so I, I think I learned a little bit about uh, baby care and babysitting on my little brother. <laughs> I remember Susanna, your sister, because we lived across the street from her when we first moved to Menard. She brought me homemade bread and vegetables, and I just loved her. She was so nice. She had a garden for mm -hmm. a while that, uh, uh, well, at the ranch and uh, in town. So uh -huh. uh, she did enjoy it and, until her later years yeah. when just, you couldn't do that anymore. Well, I used to play bridge with her in her later years, and she never was lost that talent, I'll tell you.